Hello there. So apparently a lot of people wanted my opinion on the new Arctic Monkeys album Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino. My honest opinion on it? It's alright. It's not like amazing and it's not terrible. It's just alright. A lot of people are complaining that it's too far a departure from whichever album they prefer. And I can kind of understand it because here's the thing. Alex Turner, after his first album, he's 19 years old, he's released this uh, album about life in Sheffield and going on nights out and taxi ranks and uh, prostitutes on the street and stuff like that, you know what I mean? After that, after a few albums I think it was, he moves to America, he moves to LA, he starts releasing, you know, AM a while after, so obviously you see a massive change. And I remember him saying in an interview back in the I think it must have been 2012, that he can't write chip shop rock and roll anymore or something. And that's fine, you know, he can't, but the problem is, most of his fans are still in the chip shop. <laughs> if you're a, a young person living in England, especially, you understand exactly what Alex Turner was on about with that album, in a weird way. It, it's really reflective of life here that's why it's called a concept album on you know young life and stuff and because it does completely make sense things like when the sun goes down and all that give him half a chance i bet he'll rob you if he can there's a lot of kind of rough i'm from england here's what the streets are like kind of shit going on in that album this however tranquility base is the furthest departure from that imaginable and simultaneously is the furthest departure from AM imaginable, which was a bit more like, I'm sexy, I've got leather jackets and motorbikes. You know what I mean? Like, it's a bit more, it's definitely a bit more focused on Alex Turner's aesthetics a bit, that album. There is kind of nods to, I think, lyricism more in the early albums. Like, he says something like hokey cokey with the opposite sex or something. That's a lot more kind of subtle, like the innuendos of whatever people say, I'm, that's what I'm not and stuff, they used to be a bit more subtle than in later years where he would have songs where he was like, I want you down on all fours, you're so dark, I want you hard, you know what I mean? Like that's that's a little less subtle, that's a bit more in your face, although I'm sure some of his fans won't mind that. But you get what I mean, it's definitely a nod to that old style of lyricism. The, the issue I have with it... <laughs> Because of course I have an issue with it, and uh, people are probably going to hate me for it, is, you know, everyone talks about the lyricism on it, and it's great and everything, but to me it just, it reminds me so much of a, like, English literature class, you know what I mean? And it's very poetic, but I'm not particularly a poetry kind of buff, if you like. It's, it's just not my thing. That's just the way I see songwriting and stuff, and if, the thing, if you like poetry, and if you like kind of literature style lyricism and stuff like that, then this is more for you. This is probably going to be your thing. If you're just some kid from England who wants to hear some fucking tunes, tunes, C-H-O-O-N-S, then this ain't the album for you. And you're not going to, you know what I mean? You're not going to enjoy it as much as you would the old stuff. If you came along during kind of the AM album release and you're so used to, you know, sexy Alex Turner and the leather jackets and the frigging, the suits and the very, very in-your-face sexuality, then, I don't know, maybe maybe some of this would be for you, but not so much. But there's a lot of kind of, I don't know, it's kind of also more reminiscent of the last shadow puppets more than it is an arctic monkeys album and i remember in an interview they were saying things like oh we were thinking of releasing it as an alex turner solo album and honestly i would have thought that would be better i just think alex turner needs to uh i think at this point he's just gonna do whatever he wants and do what he loves doing and that's fair play to him there's obviously going to be a loyal core fan base that will follow all his works and will enjoy it and that's fine, and I'm definitely not shitting on those people. That's that's wonderful. You enjoy it, but it's just not as much my thing as it is the other things. It's fine, is my honest opinion. It's just fine. Maybe though, and here's the thing, and here's why. Here's why you should always watch to the end of the video because I'm about to say something positive about it. I think this album could potentially be an extremely like necessary album. It's like Humbug when it came out. It was like super poetic, more complex musically, 
His voice was a lot lower. He went from like, I said it changes when the sun goes down around here to a uh, fools on parade go on. You know what I mean? Complete, complete shift in, in what he was doing. Um, and maybe this is what we're seeing here is just a transition where he's going to, He's found this new sound, a new way of doing things. Those are just my thoughts on it, and obviously it is my opinion. You're entitled to your own, and feel free to leave your opinion in the comments. Um, maybe you'll make me see this album in a light that I hadn't seen it in before. You know what I mean? Maybe you'll be like, you're just thinking of it too much as an Arctic Monkeys album. You're comparing it too much to the old stuff. And have a chat with me about it, because it's just interesting. The response to this album for Arctic Monkeys has been really interesting. It seems to be a bit divided. Some people saying it's the worst shit in the world, all filler, no killer. Other people saying it's the most genius thing he's ever done. And a lot of people like me who seem to just be like, eh. <laughs> it's just everything you've come to expect part two, but with Arctic Monkeys instead. So yeah, let me know what you think. Au revoir.